Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, I'm back. Um, it is the next day um, after my first um, video that I did for, um, you know, eating out of your house, um, planning and budgeting and, um, um, you know, emptying out your pantry and freezer and fridge and all that and seeing what you have. So this way you can live, um, you know, um, with less cost at the grocery store. This is um, low cost January. So this is, we're probably gonna do it for, you know, following February, March and all that too. But this is the first one, so I'm calling it low cost ja January. So um, this is what we're doing. So yesterday I did, if you saw the video, go look up at the video. Um, from yesterday, I did my whole pantry and my cabinets with all my canned foods and, and all of that. Today, I'm doing my freezers and my and I'm going to glance through my refrigerator and see what I got. You know, the refrigerator is kind of like, you know, you know you're going to have to replenish that stuff, certain stuff in the refrigerator. But the freezers, I already went downstairs and did one of my free, and did my freezer downstairs, my two freezers downstairs because I just wanted to get go down there and get that done and not bring the camera and the, the, the iPad and all that. So, but I wrote everything down that I had down there. And so um, with that freezer downstairs, I got two large packages of chicken drumsticks. I got five bags, guys, and two of the bags are big of tater tots, like tater tots, like really, you know? Six bags of mixed vegetables, three bags of frozen spinach, two bags of tilapia, one big large bag of shrimp, and two garlic pop pasta chickens, which one I have up here and one I have down, down in the freezer. But I, I remember I had one up here, so I, I put two down. So that's what I have just downstairs. I'm gonna go to my freezer now over here and see what I got in this freezer. Um, this freezer, I hope that everything in there is, is salvageable. I do this freezer every couple of months because, you know, I put things in there and then I don't utilize them, I don't use them, and I end up throwing it out and stuff. So, but like I said, this is the month of starting to really use what use up what we have to save money. All right, so let's see what I got in here now. Uh, Now, what, what freaks me out sometimes is that I, I write things on, but then they it comes off. This, I think, is, um, this is stuffing from, from Thanksgiving that I had made already, and I froze it. That's what that is. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, I saved some baking stuff. I have walnuts. I have, why is this, this is open? Something is open here, or is it just ice? Just ice. Um, I have chocolate bits here that I froze that, like, Jenny can put on her ice cream. I just have to remember that they're there because I forget, and then I don't use them. This, I have no idea what that is. If you can't identify it, it goes in the garbage. Uh, um, an ice cream sandwich frozen in here. Frozen, stuck to the freezer. Alexa, stop. Here is um, two ch uh, chicken drumsticks. I have chicken drumsticks at the wazoo. <coughs> I don't know what this is. I think it's chicken broth. Chicken broth. Look, it must be. Or no, or egg, or egg whites maybe. See guys, I don't. I didn't write on it, and I have no clue what it is. No clue. How am I gonna find out? Wong Tung wrappers, I'm sure these aren't good. Used by November 3rd, 2020. But they're in the freezer, but still, I don't think that they're good, right? After this, all this time. Waste, waste pump, waste pump, waste pump. One, let's see. One, two, three. I have three bags of raviolis. One open bag halfway of broccoli. Three hot dogs. 
What is this? Oh my God, I don't even know. Why don't I write on these things? I have no idea what this is. Some sort of vegetable or something. Oh wait, I think that's, I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Some sort of vegetable. Here's that other garlic chicken that I was telling you about. So I got two of those. Here's another um, vegetable medley. I have to write all this down in here. The frozen stuff is crazy, guys. It's crazy. Cooking, um, shoot. cooking Bill's lunch slash dinner. So I'm just checking it. Give me one second. What are you doing, knucklehead? Ah, lordy, 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 lordy. Um, more crinkle cut french fries so I got french fries I got all those tater tots downstairs now I have french fries um, these aren't good anymore this is chicken that's good it's a little piece of chicken that I never um, use from uh, Trader Joe's. Stuff up here, guys. I don't, I don't even know what's up here. Ice pops. Popcorn chicken. I can't even reach back there. Hi. What? Alright guys, so I had hubby get the stuff out of the freezer for me, on top of the freezer. Um, just a few things, but I threw them out. They're mostly, they're mostly ice pops and stuff. Um, okay, so this is stuffing. Um, Alright, so... What else? Did I get the rest of the stuff out? Oh my God, I'm tired already. There's so much more in this freezer. I'm pooped. Take you know a what breath. What we're gonna do with the back room? What? Is take all the extra coats. Yeah, and, and put them downstairs. The put them, we're downstairs. Yeah, well I'm saying the ones that we wear that we don't wear all the time. Yeah, no, I know. Just that, hang them in our closet. That pantry. Every day, you know, one coat each for, for person back. That back room is a mess, too. I know. All right. Let's, let's not peter out, guys, okay? I want to, but I can't. Ah. What is this? What is this? Why don't I mark things? I always think, oh, I'll remember. Oh, this is the pepper and eggs. Pepper and eggs, I saved. I just bought these the other day, sausage. So I gotta write down how many sausage I have. Oh, this is the, um, see, I don't get it. I write with permanent markers on here, and then it, it in the freezer, it goes away. It, it doesn't stay. I don't get it. It's a permanent marker. It's supposed to freaking, 
supposed to supposed to stay. Um, this is the um, the cake that I made for Julie's birthday that I saved. I got a loaf of six forty seven bread. Guys, this stuff is amazing. This is the Trader Joe's French onion soup. I'm not even kidding you when I'm telling you that I would go there just for this. And Bill, we have to make a run to Trader Joe's in a couple of weeks because I'm on my last French onion soup and there's a few things I need from there. Oh my God, guys, I'm telling you, if you have a Trader Joe's by you and you like French onion soup, go to Trader a few minutes, go to Trader Joe's and get the French onion soup. You put it, you put this, you just take it out. There's two coming up, um, in, a, in a package. Not not expensive either, maybe seven, eight dollars, maybe. I don't even think it was that much. Um, you take it out of the plastic, you put it in the microwave for like, I don't know, I forget, three minutes, three or four minutes. It is delicious. All the thing I do is put a little extra cheese because I happen to like more cheese, but it's cheesy, it has the bread in it. It tastes like you just you're sitting at a restaurant, at like one of the best restaurants and having French onion soup. It is amazing. Okay, that's what I have. That's all I have to tell you. Uh, let me check his chicken. Why is this? Why is this got to thing off? God darn it! Another ten minutes, Bill. Um. Yeah, it's delicious. I don't know. I don't think that's good. That kills me. I don't want to tell you what that was. More French fries. French fries. French fries. And French fries. And French fries. And tater tots. I got to write all this down on the list. My hands are frozen. Let's move these back a little bit. those pork chops that I that I separated. I don't there's no there's not even any place to write here. Shoot. Pork. Pork chops. Um, okay this is the banana bread. I gotta remember that I have this I put it in Jenny's lunch. And I've been forgetting the last couple of weeks. Um, another burger patty. More popcorn chicken, green beans. Potatoes from Trader Joe's. These are good, I tried them. I had another bag of those. String beans, more pop. I have, look, a couple of bags of popcorn chicken. I have three bags of popcorn chicken, really? Like, come on, come on people. popcorn chicken. They're all in their own bag, too. I just stuck them all in one bag. Um, all right. Oh, my Lord, you have it. Family, 
More pop is this more popcorn chicken? Or is this the red bag of Does your family like like things and then all of a sudden they don't like them anymore? I, I think everybody has that in their family. Because like my husband, he was so oh no, this is the red chicken. This is the good chicken from Aldi. That red chicken. Yeah, I gotta remember I have this. Uh, he used to love the frozen meatballs. I would buy them, I would make them, um, you know, with the brown gravy and noodles, he loved them. The last time I made them, he told me, after the fact that I was gonna buy them again, which I already have a bag downstairs in the freezer because I, I didn't buy any more, but he's telling me he doesn't like them anymore. After, after my meatballs, having my meatballs again and again and again, he says he doesn't, he doesn't like the frozen anymore. So there goes that. Swedish yeah, I gotta make a Swedish meatball. I actually, actually, Jenny wants tacos tonight. I think I'm gonna use that chopped meat that I have in there for that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, Zucchini tacos are so good. good. Again, I forget I make those. I forget to make. I have those. This is the guy Romy, which is really, really good from Trader Joe's. Really, good. was that from Trader? Yeah, that guy Romy from Trader Joe's, right? Why? The guy Romy. Yeah, it wasn't crazy about it. You weren't crazy. It was alright. It wasn't crazy. You told me you liked it. I, I, I wasn't. I, it was good. It was good. I'm sorry. Don't fib. It was alright. It wasn't great. It wasn't like a real viral. Well, it's not going to be like a real viral, Bill. I mean, seriously? Seriously. Um, I have three of these all together now. Guys, I'm feeling so overwhelmed right now. I'm feeling really overwhelmed, honey. Burgers. Burgers. Huh? More sausage. I got a lot of sausage, guys. Burgers. Patties. I, I'm not even going in that drawer yet. I'm not going in that drawer yet because I, I need to take a I need to take a chill pill with this stuff. P a pie crust. These are um the cold things. What are they called? Honey crust. Ice packs. All right. So let's write what we got down here now. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five. This upstairs freezer. So I have what I say, two for five boxes of sausage. Five breakfast. Sausage. Okay. Um, Oh, great. The guy from the football team from the Buffalo Bills, DeMar something. Hamlin, I think his name is. He's, he's uh, off the ventilator. He's doing really well. He's awake. And they said he doesn't seem to have any, def any oxygen, you know, deficits or anything like that. Wow, was he lucky. Was he lucky. He probably will never play football again. But hey, listen. Guess what? He's alive. So there's other stuff he can do. Two things of two things of French fries. Yeah, I know, and the, and the doctor or somebody said to him, you won the game of life. Yeah. That's what they said. He asked, he asked, the first thing he asked was uh, who won the game. They said, you won the, you won the game of life. Right? So, God is good, guys. God is good. All right, I just don't know where to begin with. You know what I think I'm going to do? 
I think as I write them down, I'm gonna put them in the back in the freezer. This way, I feel like I'm accomplishing something and it looks like, you know, things are like, you know, progressing. Um, let me get something. Right in the Ziploc bag. All right, one. Now I just found another one. Oh. oh, that's not it. Oh my God, guys. I got three bags of french fries. Three, not two. One pie crust, pie crust, my mom just got the day, pie crust. All right, honey, your chicken's done. Uh, Let me just check it though. Ow. Let me just check his stuff. Ow. All right, guys, I have five or six chicken patty, uh, chicken patties. Uh, chicken burger patties. So I'll put those in here in one bag. And I'm going to write it down. I think there was six in here. So six. Where's my ten? Six burger patties. What are they? Which ones are they? They're mixed. Huh? They're mixed. Um, so 
I got Oh look this one this one actually stayed written on. This is meatloaf, frozen meatloaf that I um I froze for Bill for him to take to work for meatloaf sandwiches. Here's another patty. Another burger patty. So that's seven. Say so it's seven burger patties. Stuff here. And here's another one of these. I gotta make. I gotta try to remember, like when the kids come over to make these, the garlic chicken. I have one downstairs too. Actually, I think I'm gonna have. I'm gonna put these in the basement. That's gonna go in the basement. That's gonna go in the basement because I'm not gonna clog up the the freezer, the freezer with that stuff. Because I don't use that stuff every day. You know what I mean? That's gonna sit down there. So. Tater tots. Well, these are zucchini tots. What is this? Don't tell me this is more freaking french fries. Ah! I got a whole bottom yet to do. I didn't even do a touch yet. Um, okay, this is stuffing. These are going downstairs, too. I got news for you. Broccoli. Okay, I got four tater tots. Four tater tots. Chicken, chicken. I don't know what this is. I think it might be spinach. It looks like spinach, maybe. I think that's what it is. Tater tots. Did I write pepper and eggs down on here? Peppers. And And every time I use something, what I'll do is just check it off on my list. So this way I know I used it. You know what I mean? Um, this is banana bread and this is the cake. Where is that freaking permanent marker? Oh, God. Hello. Hello. I know it's here. Somewhere. You can never find anything when you need it. Ever. Birthday cake. If this doesn't even goddamn right. Okay. I don't know what it is. Birthday cake. What is this? Oh, this is the um, the meatloaf. We gotta remember we have meatloaf in here, Bill. For your lunches. Um, banana bread and the cake. 
know what? I'll put those up here. And then the bread and the cake. I gotta write the meatloaf. Meatloaf. Just throw them onto your list. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what one of my YouTubers was saying to me. Now, Linda, don't lose the list. Oh, Keep that list safe. And she's so right. I'm like, oh, my God. You will. Cover just said that. Don't, don't jinx me. I'm not jinxing. I'm stating the no, facts. No, you're, jin you're jinxing me. I'm stating the facts. Um, <laughs> banana bread. If I lose this list, I'm going to be really mad at myself. Banana bread and birthday cake. I think, I think I'm throwing this in the garbage because I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to stress over it. I just can't. Look at what I found downstairs. I mean, I think I'm going to make for lunch today. Veggie mac and cheese. I bought this at some point. Um, pasta made from zucchini and lentils. I'm going to make this. So I got broccoli, string beans. Broccoli. Beans. This is stuffing, I know that. This is cauliflower parmesan soup. I know that. Um, nuts, they say to put nuts in the freezer because they go ran rancid in the cabinet, and they do. They go really, really fast. But if you put them in the freezer, they last a long time. I'm telling you, that's, you gotta remember that. Some ice in here. I got two hot dogs here. The stuff that I'm throwing out, and the stuff that I don't even need is just, All right, guys, so let me, let me send, uh, this stuff has to go downstairs. Um, let me get the other stuff out. Since I'm brave right now. More breath of green beans. Green beans. More vegetables. More look like a vegetable. This. See, this is a look, a thin London broil, but I can tell you right now it's bad. Look how brown it is. That's the stuff that I do that really bothers me. I feel like I want to smack myself in the face for it. Um, here's another burger. So that's burgers, burgers, seven burgers. Seven burgers. String beans and another mixed vegetable. So let's just add this up here. So that's seven mixed veggies and then string beans. And string beans. know how long it's been in there and even though it's um whatever it's uh it comes out when you open it sometimes it comes out freezer burn like this stuff has been in here a long time so i'm wondering if it's even going to be good and there's no date on it and i'm not going to open it i got two rice cauliflowers all right so i'm just going to put these things back in there Stir fry in there. Chick more chicken drumsticks, guys. Trick it chicken drumsticks. Okay, so I won't be buying chicken drumsticks for a couple of weeks. So two more burgers. I'm gonna put these in here for that. Okay. 
two more burgers. So that's nine burgers. Um, and a loaf of bread. I'm telling you guys, I don't eat bread anymore. I don't eat bread anymore. Okay. So let me write that down though. A loaf of 647. Six. Forty-seven. Red. Okay. All right. So this stuff we'll have to put downstairs. All right, that stuff's got to go downstairs. Um. So that is my stuff out of the freezer. Now the stuff in the refrigerator. This is all stuff that, like, I know what I have. You know what I mean? The condiments and stuff. That I'll go over when I go shopping to see what I need. I have stuff in the back. Condiments in the back. Um, like ranch. And let me show you guys. Let's turn yours around. This is in the pantry. Now, this pantry is just... Well, here's the pantry now that I cleaned it yesterday. See, guys? Clean that out, right? You're with me. Nice, right? I have this shelf here. See, I got... Let me show you. I got a mayonnaise. I got tartar sauce. I got a couple of... I got a French dressing, a ranch dressing. Then under here, I have some dressings, mustards, another uh, blue cheese, another French dressing, another blue cheese, Worcestershire sauce. Um some other stuff in there. Another French dressing, Italian dressing. Yeah, so when I go shopping, before I go shopping, of course, I will look at this and make sure that I don't um, buy any of this stuff. But right now, I'm not writing that down, but I know exactly kind of in my head what I have. So that's going to be for that. Um, oh, I forgot this onion soup. This onion... Oh my God, this is so... Do I want onion soup or do I want this? This is mac and cheese. Well, pasta made from zucchini and lentil. I wonder how it is. I don't know. I'm gonna decide what I want. I'm not really hungry right now. I had, um, I had an egg and a couple pieces of bacon before. So, I'm not really hungry right now. Um, yeah, so that's my, that's basically all my inventory, guys. I'm going to go over all this inventory. I'm going to make up a meal plan for the next couple of weeks with the stuff that I have. And then I'll show you guys the meal plan. Okay? Okay. So, guys, just for, in, just for, um... I um, just want to show you for an instant. Um, here is the meatloaf that I saved in the freezer. He decided he wants a meatloaf sandwich for, for lunch tonight, for, you know, whatever, when he eats. I defrosted it, heated it up, and here it is, guys. And you, and I'm so mad at myself because, like, for years I've thrown meatloaf out. Like, why, don't, why did I even think to do this? Because... We love meatloaf sandwiches, we really do. And I always make a bigger meatloaf, you know. I don't usually make just enough for us, but there's always an extra, you know, few pieces. So this is perfect. I have a whole, I have like three or four or five pieces left in the freezer too. So I'm gonna make him his sandwich and this is gonna be utilized and we didn't have to buy anything else. So I'm so happy. This is the stuff that makes me happy, guys. Low cost January. Low cost budgeting with this world today that what's going on. We got to save every bit that we can and still eat good and still be happy. That's what we have to do. So we just got to think smart. That's what we have to do. We have to think smart and, and everybody can do it. You know, just focus and just take some time to, um, you know, get your thoughts together and look at your stuff and just, 
you know, you don't have to do it like I'm doing it. You don't have to do it in bulk. You do it gradually, you know. Um, if you work and you don't have time, I'm home all day, so I have time to do all this. You guys, you know, if you can't do it because you work and whatever you got to do, do it in between. Do a little bit here and there. Just, you know, check out your, your inventory. That, that's all, you know, and, it, and it'll help you when you go to the store because you know how many times I've gone to the store and I come home and I'm like, oh, my God, I have like five blue cheeses now. I like stock. Don't get me wrong. But at this point... You know, two two is okay to have, you know, not that it's not okay to have, but uh, it's kind of like now, you know, you got to hold on to all the money. So it's like for other stuff and all that. So, you, you know, I don't want to like stare at the food in my cabinet. I want to know that I have the food that I need for the, for, you know, one, uh, a backup and all that kind of stuff, of course, because one thing about me too is I can't sleep at night if I don't know that I have stuff like in my pantry. You know what I mean? So I, uh, so for, for peace of mind, I have to have that. But you don't have to have an overabundance of stuff. And then if you do happen to have an overabundance of stuff, which sometimes I do, it's going to be eaten 95% of the time. So don't fret. I'm going to go make his sandwich now. I'll show you guys how I make his meatloaf sandwich. All right, so he doesn't like the crust on his bread, guys. Amen. So I'm cutting the crust off his bread. He doesn't ask for much. I use a scissor. Very simple, see? You know, I never used to do that for your kids. I used to do it for my kids. Mom, I don't like the crust. Ah, oh, what are you going to do? I'm looking at this bread, and I just want to make sure it's good, because I don't know, I see something on it. Oh, it's the light. It's the lighting over here. I was like, that looks like it's purple or something, but that's the lighting. see out without the light. Oh, guys, I'm telling you. I just can't. I can't. I, I just bought this bread. This bread. And the expiration date is um, January 8th. I don't know. You see it? Yeah, look at that. That's moldy, right? Bill, I'm really pissed off right now. What? I'm mad. Why? Because the, bre the bread that I bought, the bowl in the basket, we just bought it. I, I think it's moldy. Yeah, uh-huh. Look, I'm going to put it, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing the whole loaf back. This is a whole loaf of bread that I just bought. There is no way. There's no way. We just bought it. It's it's it says um it says January eighth. Yeah. Bringing that back to the store. That's just wrong, guys. Yeah, I know this. Um, oh, I have 
a roll. You know those rolls I buy for Denny's sandwiches? You need them for a sandwich. No, I have plenty. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're just probably... Yeah, they would be. That's true. And I think they'll be... When they're chilly, they get more, you know... All right, so we'll give them one of these rolls, guys. These are nice and soft, too. Nice and fresh. Hopefully. I mean, really, that, that's unacceptable. Yeah. So he likes mayo on... Really, guys? Come on. I'm not even showing you. So much glare in this kitchen. Let's put you over here. He likes a you know a nice amount of mayo. That I can tell you. Mommy was something happened with mommy. Yeah, you know mommy was upset. He's a good boy. Mostly. Alright. I'm just kind of smushing this down a little bit because he likes it like thinner. And it's perfect. That's filling a little spot over here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy. All right. <laughs> I have issues. Yes, I do. A little bit of pepper. You love me with all my issues, don't you? Huh? I said you love me with all my issues, don't you? Yes, guys. It doesn't come out that fast. But he loves salt on his meatloaf, so don't judge us. <laughs> okay. I never know a personality I'm going to get to that. like a messy sandwich. What? I said, you keep me on my phone, I never know a personality I'm going to deal with today. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're so funny. I know. Uh, there's some personalities you haven't seen yet. Uh, I'd be real scared if I were you. <laughs> um, do you want me to cut this in half? Yes, please. You're not? No, I'm not. This looks so good. I want one of these. I'm definitely having one of these. How should I do it this way? Yummo, guys. Guys, look at that. Oh, my God. That looks so good. I am making myself a half. 
I have just enough meatloaf left in this thing to make a half. Probably less than less than a half, guys. Look at this. What? No, I think I'll, I'll wrap it in a paper towel and just let it and let it drip all over. Men. Uh, no, I never do that. I always wrap it in tinfoil. You know that. I've had my, my sandwiches in, in plastic. Yeah, if I run out of tinfoil, but I always put... Oh, shush, shush, lip, your lip. You did not. Hush your lips. Poopy's eaten. All right, guys, this is this is lunch. Yeah, Koofy was Koofy, Koofy, Koofy was slurping Bill's coffee earlier. He left it in the living room, and. He was slurping it. Pepper. Stop. There we go, guys. Ow. Oh, God, my back. My back, guys. So good. So good the roll is nice and soft. Very yummy. Hey guys. So I'm back. Um I sat down on the couch, on the chair here, and I went over all the paperwork for, for, to make the meal plan up. And I found already, guys. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, something on my yeah, pimple. Um, I went over, I was sitting here on my chair for a little while, just vegging out, because I was so tired. And I went over all my stuff for the meal plan. I have found, now I'm not, woo, sorry, I'm not like doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm just making up meals on a, on a sheet and then I'll use the meals as I want to at what days I want to, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do anything like specific, but the meals I wrote down. So, so far out of all that stuff that I have and there's still, I mean, so much left. I have two, four, six meals I got um, written down so far. So one is shrimp um, enchiladas, one is tacos, one is spaghetti with clam sauce, then chicken pot pie, pork chops, and chili. So right now, with all the stuff that I have on, on my in my paperwork and in my arsenal, I have six meals that I can go to, and I still got another probably 10 meals, I'm telling you, that I could make from um, from this paperwork. And whether it be lunch or snacks and, and dinners, there's lots of stuff. So yeah, guys, so tacos, shrimp enchiladas, spaghetti with clam sauce, chicken pot pie, pork chops with veggie, with veg and stuffing, and chili. Now on three of them, the, the, the shrimp enchiladas, I have to pick up one other thing for it which is another can of enchilada sauce. The spaghetti with clam sauce, I have to pick up one more can, one more can of clams. And um, the chili, I have to pick up um, chopped meat. Um, yeah, so just a couple of things I have to get, which is, is feasible anyway, you know what I mean? It's minor things and things that 
I'm going to have to get anyway. Uh, you have to spend a little bit of money. I mean, I'm not going to go and spend $300 like I usually do. I'll go and spend maybe $80. You know what I mean? $50, $75, $80. So, um, and like I said, I'm not really limiting. I mean, I am limiting my spending, obviously, very much. But I'm not um, writing a certain amount down. Like, I'm not saying, oh, I'm only going to spend 50 you know what I mean? I'm going to spend what I spend on what I need to get, what I need to get, necessities, you know what I mean? Besides the other stuff, the paper towels and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, all this meal, all this planning really does, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But you do it once a month and you have all this stuff. I have all this in my arsenal written down. It's very organized. I know, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I was able to plan six meals right off the top of my head for things that we enjoy and things that I want to make with the stuff that I just have in my freezer and refrigerator and cabinets, guys. So great. I'm telling you, being more purposeful um, is really, really a way to save money and to um, really know what you have and what you can use and then before you go to the food store. It's very, very, very smart and I'm really going to continue it. It's going to save me money and time and stress and all of that. Like I said, it is, it is a lot of work, but it's well worth it. And I'm very excited. And I like the fact that like I wrote these meals down, but I mean like, like on a second on the list is tacos. I'm going to make tacos tonight. Because um, I have the meat, in, I have the chopped meat in there. I have everything I need in there. So I'm going to make tacos tonight for Jen because she's been asking me for tacos. And I happen to have chopped meat in there that I was going to make Swedish meatballs with that I never used in the refrigerator. So I have that. So I'm going to use that. So that's going to be tacos tonight. So then I'll scratch tacos off the list. And um, I will scratch off, uh, check it. Oh, when I, I want to show you what I, what I do. When I, when I make the food plan and I um let's say you know I'm using sh I'm using clams so I circle the clams I'm using chicken I circle the canned chicken what I do what I'm going to do is after I actually make the meal and use this ingredient I'll check it or I'll mark it with a with a with a color you know uh whatever I'll check it so I know that I did use it now I'm circling it, which means I intend to use it. I know in my own head, that's my own thing. I'm going to intend to use it. And then, the, and, then, and then a check or a color line through will mean that I use that ingredient. So this way I know what I have left. I have, know what I have to get eventually when I run out. And I know that I used it. So I'm very, very excited, guys. Just set up a plan, I'm telling you. Set up your own plan. You don't have to do my plan. Set up your own plan. Whatever works for you. It could be little, it could be big, it could be whatever. It doesn't have to be stressful, guys. It really doesn't. But this really, really does help. And, and um, I'm, I'm not kidding. And this is only my first week into it, and I'm very, very excited. So, yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys that the meal plan is done. That's the meal plan. So, guys, please listen. Subscribe to my channel. Um, it, it, guys, you don't realize how much it helps my channel grow. I appreciate it so much. I love doing these budget meal things. Uh, this is like, like I said, low spend January. And we're probably going to continue it on, you know, since for February, March or whatever. Hey, listen, you always can save money. You know what I mean? You always can save money. And the way things are today, it's crazy. It's crazy. So check out what you got, guys, and write it all down. And you be purposeful. And I'm telling you, you'll, your bank account will notice it. You'll, your husband will notice it. <laughs> yes, guys. So that's it, guys. So don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to like and share. And don't forget to comment down below. Love when you guys comment. I love talking to you guys. It's so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this low spend January video. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.